Hello, my name is Evangelist Melody Garland, and today I would just like to give you some encouragement. And my title for today is going to be God's Masterpiece. Yes, you are God's Masterpiece. A masterpiece is one of a kind, no duplication. We are called God's unique workmanship, uniquely made by his hands. We are God's masterpiece, an ever-changing work of art on display in this world for his glory. Yes, when you accept Jesus Christ as your savior, you become God's masterpiece. Created by God. God created each one of us as a unique masterpiece. We are made in his image. So how could we be anything else but magnificent? He carefully crafted all of our parts, physical, emotional, and spiritual. When you look at yourself in the mirror, what do you see? Do you see yourself as a masterpiece? I'll ask you again. Do you see yourself as a masterpiece? Because you are. Don't ever let Satan tell you that you're not worthy, that God is not going to forgive you, that he doesn't know who you are. He knows you because he made you unique. He didn't duplicate you. There is no one else like you. You are unique. How God sees us. In Psalms 139 and 14, and I'll be reading from the Amplified Bible, it states, I will give thanks and praise to you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your words, and my soul knows it very well. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. This is how God sees you. In 1 Samuel 16, verse 7b, again, the Amplified Version, man looks at the outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. God doesn't look at your outward appearance. It doesn't matter to him how you look. He looks at your heart because he knows if you love him. And when he looks at your heart, he can see that you love him. So he doesn't go by what's outside, what everybody else see. He goes by what's in your heart. He looks in the inward part, into your heart. The Lord your God is in your midst, a warrior who saves. He will rejoice over you with joy. He will be quiet in his love, making no mention of of your past sins. He will rejoice over you with shouts of joy. Zephaniah 3 and 17. Again, I am reading from the Amplified Version. I am convinced in confidence of this very thing that he who has begun a good work in you will continue to perfect and complete it until the day of Jesus Christ, the time of his return. Philippians 1 and 6, Amplified Version. He's going to complete the work that he started in you. Remember, you are his masterpiece. You are unique. There is no one like you. He has a purpose for you. Your purpose is not anyone else's purpose. Don't let anyone tell you, oh, we have the same purpose. No, God created you for a unique purpose. He has a plan and a purpose for your life because you are his masterpiece. You are unique. He loves you. He sees you as that person that he created. He's saying to you, I'm here for you. All you have to do is call upon me. And I will answer. I will take you out of the darkness. And I will cover you in my love. Let me give you some truths about masterpiece. Number one. 
A masterpiece is one of a kind. Remember, it's not a duplication. We are called God's unique workmanship, uniquely made by his hands. In Ephesians 2 and 10, for we are his workmanship, his own masterwork, a work of art, created in Christ Jesus, reborn from above, spiritually transformed, renewed, ready to be used for good works, which God prepared for us beforehand, taking paths which he set, so that we would walk in them, living the good life which he prearranged and made ready for us. Again, that's coming from the Amplified. Ephesians 2 and 10. Number two, a masterpiece is often a combination of an artist's skill and hard work. As humans, we were created on the sixth day of creation. And it was only at that time God called his creation good. Genesis 1 and 27 and 1 and 31. Again, I'll be reading from the Amplified. Genesis 1 and 27 states, So God created man in his image. In his image and likeness of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. 1 and 31. God saw everything that he had made and behold, it was very good and he validated it completely. And there was evening and there was morning, a sixth day. God created us on the sixth day and when he looked at us, he was satisfied. He said, this is good. And he didn't say that until he created you. Until he created us in his image. We are made in his image. Number three. A masterpiece is precious. Extremely valuable to the artist. John 3 and 16. Amplified reads. For God so greatly loved and dearly prized the world. That he even gave his one and only begotten son, that whoever believes and trusts in him as Savior shall not perish, but have eternal life. When you trust in Jesus Christ, God just told you, you will not perish because you are his masterpiece. That's how he sees you. When you trust in him, when you trust in Jesus, because Jesus died so that you could have eternal life, Jesus died for you. All you have to do is ask him to come into your life. If you don't know Jesus Christ as your personal savior, I invite you now. Just say, Jesus, forgive me of my sins. I want you as my savior. And when you repeat those words, he's your savior. You're in his arms. You will become in his presence. You will become his child. He loves you because you know why you are his masterpiece number four the artist is one creating the masterpiece remember the artist is the one that's creating the masterpiece the masterpiece cannot be created by itself god is using experiences to encourage us to become more like him in every way He's using what he put in his word to encourage us to become like him. Because remember, you are made in God's image. You are made in Jesus Christ's image. He loves you. He loves you. He created you for purpose. In Romans 5 verses 3 to 5, and I'll be reading from the Amplified. And not only that, but we also boast in our afflictions because we know that afflictions produce endurance. Verse four, endurance produces proven character and proven character produces hope. Verse five, this hope would not disappoint us 
because God's love has been poured out in our hearts through the Holy Spirit who was given to us. And this is coming from the Christian Standard Bible. Amen. You are God's masterpiece. Number five, a masterpiece points to the artist's talents and causes others to be inspired. In 2 Corinthians, I'm just going to summarize it in chapter four. It summarizes for that because of salvation, we now have the amazing treasures of the Holy Spirit in us. When we live for him, we have the honor of allowing others to see God in our life, which inspires, encourages, and makes people aware of God's amazing love for them. So if you are already in Christ, when people see you, it will inspire them. And they'll say, what is it that you have that you're so peaceful, that you're so happy? Why is it that you know who you are? And you can tell them because I am God's masterpiece and I know who I am. And my last point, six, just remember you are God's masterpiece, one of a kind, not a duplication. He loves you. I love you. We love you at Seed Harvest Church. And we pray that the word will continue to just permeate in your heart and that God has touched you and that the Holy Spirit has allowed you to understand that God loves you and that you are his masterpiece and you are created in his image. Amen.